Okay, I'm Ricky Ramser. We're gonna give a demonstration on how to load one of these French cannons. First thing we did, as you noticed, we pulled it into position. It takes anywhere, this is a mock-up model. It takes anywhere from five to six men to literally move one of these because the original ones weighed between 800 and 1,000 pounds. First thing we're gonna do is clean the barrel. We clean the cannon with a screw. This screw goes in and twists and cleans all the ash off the interior. And in doing so, you get a clean shot. And you rotate it the whole time going down in there and coming back. And that's one guy's, one person's job. The next one is the guy with a swab. It's like a mop, but it's wet. And he goes down with a wet mop and turns it, cleans everything, brings it back out, and eventually it will be black from gunpowder. He now has a clean barrel. Once we get the swab out and cleaned, we come in with a scoop, and this scoop will be used to pick up the gunpowder. This is enough powder to shoot the cannon somewhere between 75 and 100 yards dip into the powder, fill it with powder, and very carefully puts into the, into the uh, cannon and goes all the way down to the end with the powder scoop up. And when he reaches the bottom, he turns it over, empties it, gives it a good shake, brings it back out, and it's empty. Then he takes the other end of the scoop and rams the powder down to the end, make it tight so that when it explodes, you get an even explosion. And then we take the cannonball. Now this cannonball is in my pocket, but it weighs about eight, eight pounds. We drop that in there and it goes down. And when it gets to the end, we tamp it again to make sure it's in there good and tight up against the powder so that you get a good clean shot. After the cannon is loaded and the barrel is all clean and the cannonball is set inside, the gunner comes up with a spike, sticks it down in the cannon all the way down to the powder, makes a, a hole in the powder, then he runs about an eight inch fuse down in the cannon and you have about four about three or four inches sticking out. Once that's in there, we're ready to fire. The gunner takes the torch, which is a lit few, uh, twine, sets it to the uh, fuse, lights it, steps back, boom! <laughs> if you're standing directly behind it, you've got a recoil. That cannon will come back about eight to 10 feet and it will either break your legs or actually kill you if you're standing behind it. But then we go through all the process again of cleaning it, making sure all the fire, all the hot ash is dead because we don't want a live powder monkey to put the powder down in there and get killed. Lots of times they would get in a hurry and it would go off. In, uh, and people would lose their arms, their hands, and even their lives. So firing these is, is pretty dangerous. And this is the process that they go through. These are cast metal. They're good for a long time. And we have the real ones in the museum. <laughs>